funny thing is pretty much all of our dates somehow revolve around cattle, which is what like initially drew me to him anyways because we both are so like that's our whole lives is cattle. So probably like my favorite dates would be like when we go to a bull sale or we go somewhere to look at cattle and just cruise around and drive drive around the back roads and look at like our pastures and our cattle. My absolute favorite is how passionate he is about cattle and the lifestyle that we live. Like we just, you gotta have it in your blood and I can't believe at his age he just has the absolute most passion and love for what he does. In the cow business when you got cattle it's a, that's a big one right? It's kind of got to be a agricultural person to be with another egg person because it's a different lifestyle than most. I told her when we got together I said as soon as you can outweigh my uh, priorities from that cow I know you're the one. <laughs> I am so happy to be able to start our married life together and I love you very much and I'm so excited for the day and everything that our future holds. For better, for worse, for rich or for poor. In sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish you as long as we both shall live. I declare them to be husband and wife, and you may soon acknowledge the This one cow, it's the first one I ever bought. It's 12 years old this year. So she calved, so I carved into the tag, Will you marry me? And I tagged it, and then I took her out there to see the calf. It worked pretty good. I put the ring in a bucket of barley, took that out there, showed her the calf, cow comes up, cow starts eating the grain, grabbed the calf, and it had its tag, and then the other one in it, and 
It worked pretty good, actually. It took some planning. I waited for that cow to calve for a few days. <laughs> I was checking her morning and night because that was the only cow I would do it with because it was the first one that I bought. Round of applause and welcoming in, for the first time, Brendan and Quinn Elliott. The thing here is after he's conceived about this part, when Brendan and I finish up talking, he says to me, he grabs this is my hair. There's a saying, you should never work cattle with your spouse if you want to stay married. You two have already proven that a love as strong as yours cannot be broken merely by getting the wrong gait or tagging the wrong calf. Brendan, after getting to know you, you deserve the best wife. You have chosen well, as I know Quinn will stand beside you for the rest of your life. But uh, the thing I've learned over the years, mostly, that you're passionate about and you love the most is Quinn. Quinn, you've uh, hit the jackpot here with this cowboy. Uh, I know he's going to be the best husband and life partner to you as he's been the best friend to me that I've ever had. I seriously love you guys very much and I'm excited to see what the future holds for you guys. Brendan is very hardworking, he's very, very loyal, and he loves Quinn dearly, and we're very, very proud of him. It's just a delight to see the love that you share. Your personalities seem to complement each other. As parents, we always want the best for our children. Well, we think Brendan has found the best. have such a kind, gentle heart that cares for everyone. Don't lose it. You have a spirit that fights for what you believe in. Don't stop it. You have a husband that loves you. Keep him. <laughs>